Hi everyone, uh, I'm Candice, I'm from The Mama Knows, and I wanted to share with you guys today um, how I store my flat diapers. I primarily use my flats with covers during the daytime here running around the house. Um, I sometimes take them out of the house, I usually reach for my all-in-ones for that, or uh, my all-in-twos, but I do love my flat diapers ever since last year when I did the um, flats and hand washing challenge. So I keep a stack of flat diapers ready to go on my change table. Basically, it just looks like this, a stack of diapers. They're already folded in my little um, crooked cape fold, which I'm about to show you because I kind of invented it, maybe. I'm not sure if someone else has already figured it out, but I made it up on my own. Maybe someone else made it up too. <laughs> um, but I keep them just like this so they're ready to go. And this is the snappy, of course, that I use with them. Uh, this particular fold I really like because it provides lots of upfront wetness absorption for my little man. Um, I also, when I'm choosing a fold for my flats, I don't want any lines or openings in the poop area. I want it to be completely flat so that when my guy poops, it's super easy <laughs> to just shake it all off and it's not in all these grooves and, and you unfold the flat and there's like poop over here and poop over here, that's that's a pain in the butt to me. Um, so this fold is great because it has the seam way over here. It's pretty rare for anything to get on that. So this is the Crooked Cape Fold. I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really easy. I'm doing the video like this because this is actually how I fold all my flats. Um, after the laundry comes out, I just, I use my chest as a table and so this is what I do. You can watch me. Here's my square um, rears cotton muslin flat. This one I think is a little smaller than the standard 27 by 27. I think this one works up to about 24 by 24, maybe 25 by 25. My guy's pretty petite, so this works great for us. He is 16 months old. So you take it like this on a diamond shape, and I fold down one corner like that to about the center of the diaper. That's why I call it the cape fold, because it does look like a little cape, and at this point, if my three-year-old were here, he would run in and grab it and wear it like a cape. But he's downstairs, so. Here we go, I take the one corner down and then I reach for one of the corners here and I come across the top. So it looks like this now. And now, before I do the same thing on the other side, I am going to fold up the bottom point twice to make my rise. So that's going to look like this. Here's the bottom point. I fold it once, fold it twice. You would fold it as high as you need to depending on how old your baby is. A newborn you're going to end up doing it quite high. My guy's already 16 months so it works out to about the middle here. And then I'm going to come across like I did with the very first corner and I'm going to fold it across like this. So this gives me a huge area here that goes right where the bum is so I don't have my seams in the way. Um, I fold the end like that because this is going to come up through his crotch so I like it nice and, and narrow through here so it's not bugging him when he's running around the house. And then I just do this and that's how I store them just like that. Um, when it's change time all I have to do is open here and it's ready to go right on the bum. So that's my idea for storing your flats. Um, when I fold flats, I'm almost always like this. So I just use my chest because I don't really want to go sit at a table and, and work on all that time it takes to fold <laughs> with each change. So this is really handy. It's ready to go. Um, laundry day is Saturdays usually, Saturdays and Wednesdays. So I'll sit there on the couch afterwards and fold flat diapers into pre-folded fitted style diapers that are ready to go. And then I keep them just on my shelf in my change table. There you go. If you have any questions, shoot me a message and uh, be sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at The Mama Knows. And you can visit my blog online at themamanose.com. Thanks very much. Take care.